Hey guys, Epicenter Brian here. Hey, I want to go over something that you may have received in the mail from Harvest Right. Um, if you've purchased a, a freeze dryer recently or a pump recently, they're sending it out with a little kit. And it's a piece of tubing and this instruction sheet. I'll put this up so you can take a look at it. But what they want you to do is take this and insert it into your existing um, vacuum hose. Now the reason they want you to do that is that they've discovered if this opening in the, in the brass fitting is a little bit smaller, they're able to reduce the amount of water vapor that uh, gets into your pump and turns back into water. They've also found that it reduces the amount of particulates that get into the oil. So it keeps the water out of your pump and it also keeps the pump cleaner. Now I'm told that it reduces the amount of water and particulates by four-fifths, 80 percent. So that's a huge savings and uh, they'd like everybody to do this eventually. So um, they're going to have these available for, for other customers with older machines. You'll be able to buy this at a very low cost, uh, basically the cost of shipping and a little bit for the hose itself. Um, I'm going to put details down here when they're ready to start doing that for people. And then eventually these hoses um, are going to be made with a smaller diameter hole in the fitting. Okay, and those will, will be available as well. Uh, sometime in the future if you know you have real problems trying to install this you will be able to buy a new hose if you want to um, but the easiest thing to do is just go ahead and make this modification to your existing hose so the tubing that they're providing is 5 8 uh, inch outer diameter and it's 3 8 inch inner diameter now to install this, they say to uh, take the first four inches and put some vegetable oil on it and then insert it into your hose. Um, I've got another method that works even better, so I'm going to show you that. But first off, the hoses are supplied um, pretty close to the correct length for current hoses, but I want to show you a couple of things. Okay, this is a fairly recent hose. This is one that's about three years old. And let me just show you real quick that there's a big difference in terms of the length. So this tubing will fit the current one, but it needs to get cut shorter for this older one. Likewise, if you're going to install it in what we call the garden style hose, this was one that uh, they stopped using a few years back. Um, this tubing is going to be too long for this one. So let me just show you first off what you want to do. Um, you're going to take your existing hose and then you're going to take this tubing, place it on top of your hose, and on this end you want to, you want to have this um, right between the two brass parts. And then line up your tubing and what you want to do is you want to mark this and cut it short of um, where this brass part is. Okay, and the reason for that is you're not going to physically be able to put this through both fittings. Okay, you're just going to insert it on one end and it's going to stop short of the other fitting and um, that completely works. They've already tested it like this. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to install. Okay, so you're going to do that. Now, one thing about these hoses is you'll notice on this end, um, and I'll get a good picture for you, that this hose is actually a little wider this way than it is this way. And that's because this was on a big spool wound up like that, and so it's, it's kind of flattened out. That makes it especially hard to put into um, your big vacuum line. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a pot of hot water, let it sit for five minutes or so, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and install this. This hose has been in uh, hot water now for about five minutes, and it's nice and pliable. So I'm going to go ahead and insert this right now, just shake it off, and here we go. Take one end, take your hose, 
And we're going to go ahead and put this in without the oil. Um, if I need the oil, I'm going to do it at the very end. So just twist this as you put it in. And at some point it'll be a little easier if you can straighten your hose out. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing this and we'll time lapse it. Okay, now we've got just a, a few inches left. This is where you can put your oil on if you want to. Um, I've got some here on a little Q-tip. And I'm going to put it down near the, uh, the fitting itself so that I've still got some area that doesn't have oil on it um, that I can grip on. So here we go. And the last little part goes in super easy. Take your finger and just give it a little shove. And here we go. Okay, now we'll get a close-up of that real quick for you, but now it's inserted all the way and no fuss, no muss. That works really, really well. If you're thinking you want to do this right away, um, let me just say a couple of things. You know, you can find hose like this at Home Depot as an example. This is 5 8 outer diameter, 3 8 inner diameter. And you would think that this would work. Um, I can tell you that you can get this in about an inch and then forget it. You, you can't twist this, you can't do anything with it. It's because the outer diameter is actually bigger than 5 8 by a little bit, and it's very, very stiff stuff. Okay, now you can certainly find half inch outer diameter, and this goes in really easy, but it really doesn't take up enough space. Okay, um, that's the common size, half inch outer diameter or 5 8 outer diameter. Um, and I did actually get some other 5 8 from a, from a hose specialty shop. Um, and I thought this was going to be pretty close. Again, it's very stiff stuff. And it is actually 5 8 on the money. I can go in about 6 inches and then forget it. Can't, can't do that anymore. So, um, before Harvest Right sent these hoses to me, and to tell the truth, I didn't know they were sending them, I went ahead and I ordered some, um, some hose online. Now, this is 9 sixteenths, so it's actually a sixteenth of an inch smaller, um, and provides a thirty-second of an inch all the way around in terms of clearance. Now, let me show you how nice this works. Boom. No, no heating, no oil, nothing. And uh, on this one, I was actually able to put it all the way through both ends. So on this end, you see it's hit where the brass is. And here's a little trick. A Sharpie is the perfect size. You can just put this inside of the hose and move it slightly to the correct location. And then from the other end, see this? I can just push this and here we go. Bingo. So that is now inside and you can see I can go back and forth and get that centered. Okay. So that size works really, really well. Um, you have to search for it online because it's not a standard, not a really commonly found size. So, if you want to do that, 9 16 outer diameter, 3 8 inner diameter, and this is just standard PVC food grade uh, hosing. Alright, well that's about it. Hope that tip helped you guys figure out how to install that hose. And like I said, these are going to be available from Harvest Right um, shortly. I'm not sure exactly when, so I'll update the comments as soon as I know for sure. And like I said, they are going to be making... Uh, all future hoses like this, the JIC connectors, will be made with a 3 8 inch diameter hole in them. And those will be available um, to purchase if you really want to replace the hose. But this, this little retrofit is um, very simple to do and uh, definitely do it. I'm doing it to all my hoses. Alright, that's it for TheEpicenter.com. I'm Epicenter Brian, signing out.